Now, Czech News. Here's Luisa Alvarez. Good evening, thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with breaking news. A major security incident continues to unfold in Washington state at this hour. Seattle-based Alaska Airlines confirms that one of its Horizon Air Q400 planes was involved in what it's calling an unauthorized takeoff from SeaTac Airport. Hi, I'm Louise Alvarez in downtown Victoria, and we're going to tell you how a robot is helping people who take multiple medications daily. That story right after the break. Don't go anywhere. You can see how windy it is right now. Just imagine that dust flying everywhere. I'm told they weren't able to sit outside without being covered in dust. It's important to remember that not everyone lives in a tsunami zone. If you're four meters above sea level or more, stay put. There's no reason to evacuate. Well, Stacey, as you can see, I'm standing right in the middle of the Trans-Canada Highway. The highway is still very much closed in both directions, and it's expected to stay for several hours. There's a lineup of traffic waiting for it to reopen. If you notice, most of them are trucks. I spoke to the drivers. They're willing to wait. Other vehicles, not so much. They're taking alternate routes or not going this way at all today. But we haven't, and I'm one that loves the heat, so uh, this yeah. is the best news for me, but I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> out there are they're ready breathing for, a sigh of relief yeah, with a little bit of a break. Yeah, they're ready for a cool down for sure. <laughs> All right, well, let's take a look at how the market's closed today. April filed the complaint with Health Canada regarding this product, and she's not the only one. Between December 31st, 2005 and December 31st of last year, 303 adverse reaction complaints were filed about Banana Boat sunscreen products. <laughs> Some of today's search is focusing on back trails that lead to where the van was discovered. Volunteers are searching and hoping to find any sign that could lead to Ben. Well, Victoria is hardly the only place in the country where John A. McDonald and other architects of the residential school system have been controversial. The federal government is responding to a decision by Saudi Arabia to pull thousands of Saudi students out of Canada. The question wasn't if he was emotionally harmed. The issue was whether he fit into the definition of victim for this particular case. And she simply couldn't find a sufficient link. I know they may be cute, but remember, if you see these dogs out in public and they're in jacket, be sure to ask their trainer before interrupting. Tess, as you can imagine, there has been an outpouring of support after this unthinkable tragedy. Many coming, dropping off flowers and teddy bears in support. Friends of the family saying they're remembering little Chloe and Aubrey as little girls, explosive with joy. As the memorial grows outside this Oak Bay apartment, new details are starting to emerge in the tragic murder of two little girls, six-year-old Chloe Berry and her four-year-old sister Aubrey. The girls are being described by loved ones as full of energy, with contagious smiles like their mother, Sarah Cotton. The thing about those girls is that they really had Sarah's spirit. And if you know Sarah, she has a big smile and she has a big laugh and she really draws people to her. And the little girls were the same. They were bright and they were funny and they were full of life. Their bodies were found in their father Andrew Barry's ground floor apartment Christmas Day when police entered looking for the girls after Barry failed to return them to their mother as planned. Friends of Cotton are staying by her side during this devastating time. I mean, Sarah's just in a the most difficult of situations. So, um, you know, lots of people around us are just trying to take care of her the best we can at this time. So, yeah, it's sort of unthinkable. Cotton was in a bitter custody battle with Barry, her ex-partner. The pair have been estranged since 2013. Barry was found with self-inflicted wounds in the apartment, which has been behind police tape since Tuesday and remains in hospital. He is currently not in police custody and police won't say if Barry is facing charges. Neighbors often saw Barry around the building with his girls and said everything seemed fine. Dad and kids, it was, they seemed happy. The kids, I saw them the other day, they were playing and happy. A few details about Barry himself have surfaced, but court documents suggest he was in financial distress, facing eviction in August, and his bank was suing to recover over $12,000 in credit card debt. Family friends also confirmed Cotton was suing Barry for unpaid child support. 
Vancouver Island Major Crimes, who is heading the investigation, has not released cause of death or any other information. We also spoke to close friends of the family who say while they have not decided how they want to remember Chloe and Aubrey, they want to do something that truly encompasses their spirit of laughter and pure happiness. Tess? Thanks, Louisa. Louisa Alvarez reporting live from Oak Bay tonight on this unimaginable tragedy. I did speak to the general superintendent of the construction site, Jeff Eng, on the phone. He did not want to go on camera and was really hesitant to comment at all. But he did tell me that it was a freak accident and there's nothing they can really do to stop it from happening again in the future. It might be a little bit hard to imagine right now, but in the coming weeks, both of these walls will be knocked down to make room for 150 restaurant and lounge seating. Expedia had removed them once before at their request, but then they appeared again a few months later and still appearing sold out. Right now I'm walking on the new access logging road that we were told was not here last week. Now their concerns were because if you just go 200 meters that way, you'll hit the embankment of the lower Muir Canyon. That wraps our show for tonight. Thank you for joining us and from everyone here at Czech News. Have a great night.